Hello and welcome to this quick tip video. For a couple of minutes we're going to show you how to add a web part to a SharePoint page. So let's get started. We want to put the page into page edit view in SharePoint. We're in the browse mode now. So we're going to go up to the ribbon menu, click on page, and then we're going to pick the ribbon item, the menu item for edit. So we'll click edit. That's going to put the page into an edit mode, activate some of the menu ribbon items. And what we want to do is just navigate down to an area of the page, in this example, where we'd like to insert something, in this case, a web part. So I'm going to click on a blank area of the page underneath some of this, this, uh, these paragraphs. And then I'm going to click Insert, and I'm going to insert a web part. Now you're going to see a listing of all the various web parts that are available, um, organized by category. Some web parts are simply what are called list view web parts, which is what we're going to show you today. And really it's showing a list that you've already built, or a library, and putting that into your page. But there are plenty of other web parts available to be put into your pages. But again, for today we'll just show you how to insert a list view web part. So in SharePoint 2013, lists and libraries are actually termed as apps. That's why we show them in the app category. So I'm going to insert my tasks list into this page. Now I could access that task list by other menus and go straight into the list, but I just want to put a portion of that task list into the existing home page. So I click tasks and I'm simply going to add it. When I add it, notice how it basically created a web part and put it into the page. What we're actually looking at right here is the web part displaying the task list. However, I might not want to have all of these columns that are in the main list showing up in this particular page. So we can make a change to that. But before we do that, I'm going to go ahead and save the page. It's just kind of a good habit to just save your changes as you go. And then put the page back into edit mode and scroll back down. There's our list. Now what I want to do is, since I'm in edit mode for the page, I want to click the drop down for the web part and select edit web part. Give that a click and if I scroll back up a little bit I'm going to see the configuration panel for this particular web part. All I want to do here is edit the current view. So I'll click edit the current view system's going to ask me if I want to leave the page or if I want to stay on the page because it basically knows I'm going to leave this page in order to make that change. I'm going to say leave the page, but remember we just did a save. So the trick here is to remember save that first insert of the web part before you leave the page again. Now we're at the actual settings view for that particular list and we're going to take off or uncheck some of these items that are on here. And I'm going to add one I'll add created by, or created, excuse me, created by. And you'll notice that this is currently at the 14th position from the left. All it's really going to do is put it last um, after status number four. Or if you wanted to tell it it was in position five, you could do that too. And now when we save, it's going to redisplay the list. And we'll scroll down to the list, and the list is a little bit smaller and it's got basically our assigned to status and then who created it. Otherwise the list should function normally. And that's how you put a list view web part into a page. And I'm going to go back to our SharePoint native home screen. And that's it. Thank you.